Johnson. History making seventh championship. Yes! Yes! My God, we did this! Yes! Man, I am so proud of you. Now you're a seven time champion. Seven time NASCAR champion, Jimmy Johnson. Eight. That's what comes after seven. Yeah. And that's something nobody else has accomplished. It, it, how big of a dot on the radar is that? I don't have a ton of um, pressure for it. Last year wasn't the most fun at different points, but through the tough times, I still found a way to enjoy myself. I'm learning to relax, and that's what I really want to do while chasing eight. Speaking of having fun, I don't know if it's been fun yet. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Daytona, crash in the clash. One car slides Again. to the inside, it's Johnson. Crash in the duel, crash in the 500. Jimmy Johnson gets turned. Okay, we're done with Daytona. We go to Atlanta where you were trying to get three consecutive wins. It's quicker to tell you the things that didn't happen to you <laughs> than what happened. It, it's been a bumpy start here. It has, and I mean, <laughs> go to Atlanta. We definitely had a top five car, but us and many others had issues on pit road. And I feel like they're, they're speeding our cars. Sure, we didn't dominate Atlanta, but uh, we're not as bad as we are. Four wins here. Been a while, 2010's the last one. We've been able to win it um, a few times and, and took a lot of pride in that. I'd say we've been in the ballpark of winning the last probably two trips here. Some stuff late in the race has kind of worked against us, but we've had very competitive cars and from a mile and a half perspective, this is one of the more entertaining tracks from inside the car with line selections. The bumps down in, in one are only gonna get bigger and worse and create more issues for us. It's really fun to drive. I wanna step away from the 48 car and, and the racetrack a little bit. Your fitness journey. For years, I've seen you running, riding bikes, but it just seems like it's it's starting to become an epidemic. <laughs> and the amazing thing, you got Dale Earnhardt Jr. on a bike. What did Dale Earnhardt Jr. wear? Was it the normal T-shirt and blue jeans? <laughs> he has been <laughs> so freaked out over the uh, the, the tight-fitting cycling gear, and he made a lot of threats that he was going to be in like a jumpsuit for for basketball to ride the bike, and he emerged in proper cycling apparel. He made us um, meet him outside the tunnel, so he put his bike in the car <laughs> and drove it out. He didn't want to have an issue going through the tunnel and have everybody see it, but he had a great first ride, and, and uh, he's, he's been, been hot and heavy and, and getting fit. You know, I, I really believe you're going to get that eighth championship. I don't know if it's going to be this year. Who like knows? you said, nobody knows. <laughs> 100 wins. You're sitting at 80 right now. You won five last year. All you got to do is repeat last year for the next four years. You got it. Is 100 wins a big deal, too? Yeah, I'm definitely going to look at it and, and try to get there and just try to win every race. But you get to 100 wins, I'd say the championship's going to follow. Championship will happen. That's a great point. <laughs> um, but I've never been motivated by stats. I'm so happy of the things I've accomplished. But uh, for me, it's about the experience, the experience in the garage. Um, you know, I'm now the old guy on the team, so to help Chase Elliott, to be there for Dale, to be there for Casey, to have William Byron coming along, I'm just looking at it in a different way. So, sure I want 100, sure I want 8, but there's more to this journey than, than just chasing those numbers.